What's going on, everybody? We're going to get ready to get started in just a bit. And uh, we're going to get ready to talk. We're going to get ready to talk. We're going to get ready to talk Bears and Titan. And I'm just trying to make sure I. Trying to make sure my uh, microphone is good. Just trying to make sure I got a good mic. But hopefully everybody doing all right. Y'all give me a thumbs up if y'all can hear me. Just trying to make sure I got everything ready to go. But yeah, we feel like we're ready to get started. We're going to talk Titans, Bears. And uh, as long as I'm not having any echoes. Okay. Okay. I'll make sure we got some good going on here. But yeah, give me a thumbs up. Let me know the chat. I'll be good. We're going to get this show started. Just trying to make sure I got my volume in a good place. We are going to go ahead and get this rolled on the show. And I'll go ahead and get the show started. And uh, we're going to talk, like I said, we're talking Titans, Bears, football season is finally here. It is finally here. And uh, we're definitely going to enjoy it. You know, yeah, we're going to talk a little Chiefs, Ravens, because it's going to be a little bittersweet tonight. But um, we're definitely going to have some fun. And we're going to get everything started in the next 60 seconds. So get ready, y'all. <music> Good 
what's going on titan nation how's everybody doing welcome into tnt tonight the season premiere because the season is finally upon us it is finally here we are finna get ready to get this season going we got a few uh nights to sleep before um the Titans finally kick off the year, and I am very excited about it. We're definitely going to get on into it and uh, definitely get this thing going. So, everybody, come on in. We're going to have a good time. Make sure y'all share this show out, whether it be on Facebook, Twitter, X, and Instagram. We're definitely going to have a good time and let everybody know that they can come on in. We'll let, you know, some more people are going to start filing in, and uh, we're definitely going to get this show on the road. And... You know, this is, it's a very exciting time because, I mean, hey, we've been missing this for a very, very long time. I know college football started last week, but now we're going to have a full weekend of football. We got some football to uh, the next two days, really the next four days we got football. You know, we got Ravens Chiefs tonight. You got Eagles Packers tomorrow. And then Saturday, you got all the college football games. You know, Tennessee playing uh, with NC State. You got uh, the Memphis Tigers trying to stay undefeated against Troy with their game against Florida State coming up. So I'm definitely excited. We got Louie up in here. And uh, first in here, my guy is here. And so uh, definitely going to be having some fun and we're definitely going to be uh, looking forward to everything, but we're going to get on into this. Make sure y'all like this show. Go ahead and smash that like button for me. Uh, definitely hit that and then also hit that subscribe button uh, if you haven't already. So that way you know uh, where you can get your Titans content, the number one show on YouTube. I guarantee you, you will not regret it if you come on in and join the family. Also, uh, going to be catching up on my Spotify, iHeartRadio, Apple, and Google Podcasts as well. Going to make sure all of those are uploaded as well. And so, um, definitely uh, stay tuned for that. If you can't watch the entire show, you can always uh, catch the audio version there too. Well, let's get into this. The season is finally here, and I cannot believe it. I am just, I'm ecstatic. I am, like, excited. I have not been this happy in a long time. It's like, it's like it's Christmas all over again. And so, you know, definitely ready for the season to begin, ready to get this show on the road. Let's get ready to march toward a, you know, possibly uh, a winning season, a super, uh, a playoff game, and who knows what else could happen. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. But first things first, you have the Ravens and the Chiefs are going to be getting it on first. And that kicks off tonight. That kicks off tonight. Uh, in just a little bit on NBC, Chiefs are a three-point favorite. Uh, it, it's a three-point favorite at home against the Ravens. I got that incorrect. I'm actually going to fix that right now. But uh, the Chiefs, you know, the uh, the Ravens are uh, on the road in Kansas City. It's not the other way around. So I'm actually going to fix that as we speak. But Ravens on the road versus the Chiefs. And, you know, this is it's going to be bittersweet for Titans fans because this is going to be the first time we get to see Derrick Henry not in a Titans uniform. He's going to be taking a carry for the Baltimore Ravens. It's, it, it's not going to be easy to watch. Um, it, it's going to be, you know, you know, I definitely want, you know, the best for him and everything, but it, it's going to be a little sad. It's going to be a little tough uh, to watch Derrick Henry run the rock for another football team that's not us. And so I, um, I'm going to do my best to not be in my feelings uh, when it comes to that, but uh, it, it's not going to be easy for me uh, to watch. I mean, again, it's going to be fun. You know, because football is back, 
but watching Derrick Henry in another uniform, I just don't know if I'm going to get used to it. I'm not. But um, I definitely hope that this is a very good football game. I do think the Chiefs are going to win this game. Uh, definitely going to watch. Don't know if I'm going to bet on it. I highly doubt it. But uh, this is going to be a very fun game indeed. Lamar Jackson back on the field. Chiefs trying to start their road to a three-peat, which has never been done before. So uh, this is going to be very interesting to see. But let's get to what we really came here to talk about, and that's the Tennessee Titans. Once again, here is the schedule and some of my predictions. I have the Titans finishing 10 and 7, even though that might sound crazy to a lot of people. But again, I went back and forth on uh, quite a few games. There there was a moment where I thought 9 and 8. Uh, there was a, a game or two that I thought they could squeeze out depending on the situation. So we're definitely going to see what happened. But a lot of people are not high on the Tennessee Titans. A lot of people think that they might finish 6 and 11 or 7 and 10, maybe an 8 and 9 or a 9 and 8. I've even seen, a, I've even heard a few 5 and 12s, uh, even. And I just want to preface this by saying that I think a lot of other fans will agree. And you guys can leave me your comments. I see Louis, I see Daniel Berry, and I see Derek. Robert said, seeing Henry in purple will be crazy today, but I got to see it. And I agree. All in the family ain't got done on them. I not have to worry about a coach again. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, but I got the Titans going 10 and 7. I think there's a game or two that, you know, they're not supposed to win that they do. Like I said, I think. I have them either splitting with the Jets and the Packers. Of course, I had a Jets fan saying he couldn't take me seriously, but I'm like, hey, I'm just going by what I think is my thoughts. Um, but anything can happen. I do have the Titans splitting in the division with all three teams going three and three. And so, um, I mean, the best way that they can really get to a 10-7, they're going to have to sweep one team. And I think Indianapolis can be that team that can be the one that gets swept. So, um, again, I like the Titans at 10 and 7. Uh, 9 and 8, I would not be shocked that they did that either. And so, um, definitely going to be looking forward and paying attention uh, and seeing how this season is going to go. But let's get right in to the Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears. Three and a half point favorites this weekend. You know, I mean, everybody and their mama hyping up Caleb Williams. I mean, it's Caleb Williams this, Caleb Williams that. I mean, you know, everybody's just so looking forward to his debut. It's like all eyes are on Caleb Williams and the Bears. And, of course, they're talking about the weapons that he has with DJ Moore, with Keenan Allen and Roma Dunze. And everything. So, I mean, it's been Caleb Williams all the time and what they're talking about. And they're not really talking about the Titans at all. But this is how the Bears finished up last year. Of course, uh, they finished with a 7 10 record tie for third in the NFC North, or as Chris Berman liked to call it, the NFC Norris Division. You know, definitely with uh, all those teams in the, in the North. Um, Offensively, not very good except running the football. They were in the middle of the pack in scoring offense, 20th in total offense, 27th in passing the ball, but second in running the ball. Defensively, uh, they gave up about the same amount of points. They were 20th in scoring defense, 12th total defense, which is pretty good, 25th against the pass, but they were number one against the run. And the key to beating a lot of teams is you're going to have to stop the run first. And then, of course, you got a superstar receiver in DJ Moore, 96 catches, 1,364 yards, 8 TDs. Montez Sweat coming in off of a trade from the, uh, the commanders in the middle of the year. Ended up with 57 tackles, 12 and a half sacks on the year. 
And so he not only led the Bears in sacking, in sacks, he also still led the Commanders in sacks, and he wasn't even on their team, which is a bit crazy on that one. So, I mean, the uh, the Bears are looking, the Bears do have an improved roster. Uh, definitely got some weapons around Caleb Williams, DeAndre Swift, and running back as well. On the other side of the ball, of course, Montez Sweat. And then you got, uh, of course, Tremaine Evans, who is a very good uh, linebacker. And then Jalen Johnson, who is a good corner. And, of course, our boy, the mayor, the former mayor of Murfreesboro, Kevin Byard is going to be back there at safety. You know he's probably trying to give a few secrets. Um, but, again, this is a different offense than what Kevin Byard is used to. And so um, I would say that kind of negates, negates that. But this is going to be a very interesting football game. To say the least, y'all, and y'all give me your comments here. But I am uh, very intrigued about it. Wish I could be going, you know, to see family and go to Soldier Field is one of the better venues uh, in football. But, of course, Titans offensively were not very good. They finished 28th total offense, 29th in passing, 17th in running, 27th scoring offense. Although I have them finishing somewhere in the middle of the pack uh, this year. Defensively, you know, they were 18th in total defense, 18th against the pass, 13th against the run, 16th best scoring defense. I think all those numbers are going to go up. I think they're going to be a top 10 defense, and they may even flirt with top five in, I would say, almost every category. I think they're going to be a very, very good defense. Now, the one thing I do worry about with this team is the depth, uh, especially at corner and at defensive line. Not a lot of depth behind them. Excuse me. And so that's something that I am very much concerned about is the depth of this team. And, you know, Big Jeff and Devondre Sweat are going to have to play a lot, but I think they're also going to do a lot of four-man fronts too, which uh, could definitely keep some guys fresh. I think that's a very good thing as well. And so um, I think defensively they're going to be just fine. Offensively is where all the questions are going to have to be answered. Um, this offensive line, you know, J.C. Latham, he's going to be probably going up against Montez Sweat, and that's not an easy matchup. And, you know, he, he's done a lot of things well, but he's also had some issues with um, inside counter moves. So that's something that he's going to have to definitely be conscious of and be able to, um, you know, be able to figure that out. And I'm pretty sure Coach Bill Callahan is definitely going to help him with that uh, as well. So definitely very intriguing. Skoronsky, uh going to be beside him, definitely can help him out. Uh, Lloyd Cushenberry, one of the better safeties. I mean, one of the better centers in football is going to be there. And then this is going to be the chance for Dylan Radins and NPF to prove themselves. They need to prove themselves on that right side. DeMarcus Walker is pretty good himself. And so um, the Titans have the work cut out for him. And, I mean, you know, D-Hop looks like he's going to go. And then you got Ridley. And Tyler Boyd is looking pretty good to go as well. And I think they're going to definitely finally use the pass to set up the run in this situation. And that's what they have to do. They got to use the pass to set up the run. And then kind of loosen up the Bears a little bit. And then you can come back with the pounding. You can come back with the ground and pound a little bit with Pollard and Spears. So definitely looking forward to this kickoff. And... Again, everybody's eyes are on Caleb Williams. Nobody's eyes seem to be on us, which might be a very, very good thing in the uh, grand scheme of things. And so um, we this is our chance to fly under the radar. This is our chance to come out and shock the world and make Caleb Williams look human. And so 
Like Adam Schefter basically said something on NFL Live last night, and I know that kind of struck a nerve with a lot of Titans fans, myself included, when he said basically, um, well, the Titans are a tough defense, but the Bears got lucky. You know, they are not facing a complex defense who has a lot of blitzes and stuff going on. And I'm thinking to myself, Adam, after all the reporting that you've done, you haven't paid not one bit of attention to an actual Titans game or practice. This defense is more than just a tough defense. They are going to be exactly what the model says, resilient and relentless. And I suggest y'all get ready. Because if you get Caleb Williams on the ground, he ain't going to be the same. And that leads me into my blue enforcer four points to victory. How can the Titans win this game? And how can the Titans get to 1-0 and to start the year? Again, you got a Bears team coming in with a lot of hype. I mean, a lot of people are just really thinking that they're going to really do something. Of course, the Bears traded Justin Fields to the Pittsburgh Steelers. And then, of course, um, they draft Caleb Williams. They draft Roma Dunzier in the first round. And so what can the Titans do to beat the Bears? And they got a nice couple of linebackers in there. But number one. You got to get this season off to a good start. And that means being patient. And that means on that first drive, you just take what the defense gives you and you march down the field. Take control of this game early and make them think things. You know, make them think too much. Put the pressure on Caleb Williams that he's going to have to produce and come back from behind. Because then you can get re- you can really get after him in that situation. So you got to get this season off to a good start, and let's get to one and zero. Um. Now, one of the last times, um, I want to say that I believe the Titans won a pre won a season opener. They had a pretty good season after that, if I'm not mistaken. Um. But yes, got to get off to a good start for the season. And that is not going three and out on the very first drive. Not exactly the way I want it. So they got to do this. Get off to a good start. Get points on the board early. Take the crowd out of the game. Take the crowd out of the game and try to quiet the hype some. Which leads me to point number two. Weather the emotional storm. Weather the early storm. Bears fans are going to be crazy hype. They're going to be loud. They're going to be... um, They're going to be going crazy. Because, of course, everybody thinks the Bears are the it team. Everybody thinks the Bears are now going to go to the playoffs all of a sudden. And so... We have a great opportunity to go in and shot the world, a la about five years ago when the Tennessee Titans went into Cleveland. Cleveland was the media darling, had all the hype. You know, they got Jarvis Landry. They had Odell Beckham Jr. And, um, you know, Nick Chubb is there. And, you know, you still got Miles Garrett, Denzel Ward. I mean, you had all of these weapons. And you couldn't beat the Titans at home. I mean, the Titans went up there and they smacked them all around. 43 to 13, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, you just got to weather that storm early and just try to take the fans out of the stadium. And in that way, you know, in that way, you know you're in their heads. And that's going to be very important. You know, it's not just a physical game, it's a mental game. 
And that's something that the Titans have to know how to play. Play games with this crowd. And that's what they have to do. Number three. Quiet the hype and put Caleb Williams down. And that's going to be the best way to stop the hype a little bit. And maybe see if you can make my, uh, maybe, maybe you can see Caleb Williams lose control. You see him getting frustrated. You see him getting flustered. That means we got him. We're in his head. We're living rent free. Amar said, not looking good for D Hop. No, he's going to be fine. Uh, he gave a, uh, he kind of gave an update today. He said he's going to play. He's playing. He's practiced the last couple of days. D Hop looks like he's going to be good to go. Jamal Adams, on the other hand, doesn't look, doesn't look too good for him. But D Hop has been practicing the last couple of days. So that that's going to be very interesting, but got to put him down. And this is where our offensive line has got to win at the line of scrimmage against their defensive line, but mainly our defensive line. Um, he's going to have our defensive line has got to get home. Sweat or Simmons. Landry, they're going to have to get home. And I said, Amar said he told PK he has torn MCL. He's going to have to manage for the rest of the year. But again, I think he's going to be fine. And plus, Braylon Burks might get some chances. See, they can finally unlock him. But you got to quiet this Caleb Williams hype. Because if you do, if you do put him down, he gets frustrated and everything, we're going to win. But if you let him get outside of the pocket and create off-schedule plays, he looks good, and the Bears could go on to victory. So, Titans got some work to do. But last but not least, They have to be resilient, but relentless, period. That's exactly what they got to do. Play bump and run, smash up against them, get after them, launch an all-out assault, and do not let up. Don't let up. Be resilient and relentless. You get after you get after that teenager or that machine, work it. You know, you got to work this offense to death. You got to get after Caleb Williams, keep him contained in the pocket, no ways out. And so he ends up just falling into somebody's arms on the other side. But be resilient and relentless, period. You do that. The Titans are going to be in great shape, in my honest opinion. And I um, I do, um, I, I think this is a matchup the Titans can win and probably should win and get the season off to a good start. Because you don't want to be, you know, you definitely don't want to be 0-1 uh, going into that game against the Jets at home. So they got to be resilient and relentless at the same time and not let up. Press on the corners. Don't play no more than about three to five yards off the ball and stay aggressive. I mean, you know, Adam Shepard was like, well, this is the Brian Flores. He's not going to, Denar was not going to line up a bunch of different blitzes. And I'm thinking, <laughs> that means you don't know Titan football very well, do you? And y'all know Brian Wilson like that. He's a, you know, he, uh, he turned, you know, um, he's coming from that Ravens defense. And they were always attacking. They were always relentless. 
and he's bringing that same philosophy here. So, again, they got to be resilient. Bears are going to try to make some plays, and we just have to be able to counter that. So, again, number one, get this season off to a good start. Have, have good drives on both sides, both offensively and defensively. Get off the field defensively, offensively, score points. Second, weather the emotional storm. There's going to be a storm for Bears fans where they're going to be loud and proud and going crazy thinking that Caleb Williams is their savior. We save that game, and even if we're down, if it's like 7-3, to three, then we're, we're still in business. And so weather the emotional storm early, and then you'll be able to be effective later. Number three, you got to quiet this Caleb Williams hype and put him on his ass, literally. Put that purse-wearing, nail-polish-wearing dude down. And then number four, be resilient but relentless, period. Don't take your foot off the gas. You keep coming after him. Okay? So that's what I think they need to do if they're going to beat this very, very good Bears, uh, revamped Bears uh, football team. Matt, now, a key matchup is going to be Brian Callahan versus Matt Eberflus. I don't think Eberflus is that good of a coach, and I think he could ultimately be the Bears' downfall uh, this season. So not really big on Eberflus. And when it comes to the moment of truth, who do I think wins this game? I think the Tennessee Titans are going to go in there and make a statement. It just, everything that's happening is telling me that that's what's going to happen. Everybody in the mama talking about Kayla Williams. You know, all the national pundits kissing Kayla Williams, you know what. And, and it seemed like it's not going to stop. Only way that we'll stop is if we win this game. And so I got the Tennessee Titans winning 30 to 17. Again, I had already predicted Will Levis to have 3,825 yards, 31 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. But I think he gets to start off right. I think he throws three TD passes in this game. And I think um, Tajay Spears runs in for another. And I think the Titans go up bigger early, and then um, I think they win this thing big. They get ahead early, and then <laughs> they're the ones that let up in the fourth quarter. But if you're resilient and relentless, I don't think they're going to let up at all. They're going to want to make a statement, and I think this is a game that they could do exactly that. So I have the Titans winning this game 30 to 17. And again, remember, they only have us winning five. They only have us 5% winning the division. Very soon, I'm going to try to arrange something with some national media on this show. And I'm going to have to, they're going to give me a formal apology on that one. Because clearly a lot of national pundits have not watched a lot, if not any, of the Titan football games. But Tennessee Titans, I have them winning 30 to 17. TNT tonight is here. Uh, thank y'all for bearing with me. Um, it's been a long day for me. Uh, definitely um, had some success today. Uh, just found out I got a, um, a new job, going to be producing and doing board operations for 92.9 FM. Um, Memphis, that is our, um, that is our, um, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought just that quickly. I just lost it just that quick. 
But again, make sure y'all smash the like button and make sure y'all hit that subscribe button as well. And so again, I think the Tennessee Titans are going to win this game. Started off good and uh, a very good outlook for the season in Brian Callahan's debut. Um, again, I apologize. I just completely lost my train of thought right there. My mind just kind of blacked out a bit. But I'm definitely looking forward to tonight's game, Ravens Chiefs. I'm looking forward to that. And also uh, looking forward to uh, Packers Eagles. You know, it's just good to have some football back. Uh, again, I think the Chiefs are going to win the game um, tomorrow. You know, tonight, and I think tomorrow night. Um, I'm gonna go with the Eagles. I think the Eagles are going to win in in Brazil. Uh, so I think that's how that's going to end up going. And um, make sure y'all leave me in the comments below. What do y'all think? Who do y'all have winning game one? And be honest with yourselves about this too. And so uh, I think that's going to just about do it for me tonight. Uh, as we get ready, just remember, we're going to have this going on all season. Um, barring, barring a scheduling problem, I will be live Sunday. Uh, for the first watch party uh, stream of the season. So I'm definitely going to be doing that as well. And i um, also going to be doing some things, getting ready for the Vols and also for um, the Memphis Tigers as well. As um, even though there's been a scandal in basketball, Pen uh, Coach Penny is just, he's doing it again, messing up all, messing up my, my basketball team. I'm not, I'm not appreciating that. But as far as the football team is concerned, they got a good game. They got a team in Troy coming in here that's going to want to try to uh, knock them off. And then they got uh, my guys from Florida State uh, getting ready to um, play them in about two weeks' time. Um, well, not two weeks' time. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday, we are in Tallahassee, Tigers Seminoles. And so, yes, uh, thank you very much for that, Derek. Yeah, uh, FedEx, I haven't, been, I haven't worked at FedEx in, I haven't worked at FedEx since 2021. It's been about three years already, but I definitely do appreciate that. Um, but yes, uh, I will be now um, doing producing and board operation for um, 92.9 FM ESPN here in Memphis. Uh, definitely doing that. I'm very excited about that opportunity. Kind of got my foot in the door in the radio and actually getting paid this time. Uh, Blast TV said, Big Big Jeff will say pink fingernail. Yeah, Big Jeff could be. When he keeps sacking him, he could probably see what color his fingernails are. So that's going to be very interesting to say the least. But I'm not going to hold y'all up too long because I know everybody's going to get ready to watch tonight's game. I'm going to get ready to do the same thing. I'm going to go get me a quick workout in so I can be back in time for kickoff. But um, football's back, y'all. We ready. And I know I probably will forget something, but if so, I'll mention it on uh, Sunday. Uh, y'all definitely come and join me for that. Again, spread the word to your friends and everything. And uh, I thank y'all for tuning in to TNT tonight. I'm your man, Chris, a.k.a. Blue Enforcer. And I'm going to get on out of here saying that no matter what, we going to tighten up because that's all we know how to do. Happy football season. We are back. And I am on, also, I am on the road to 2,000 subscribers. I appreciate everybody helping me. I'm at 1,400. I'm over 1,400 trying to get to 1,500. But please, help me get to 2,000. Help me get to 2,000. And so, um, if y'all do that, I will be so thankful. But again, thank y'all for tuning into the show. And y'all tighten up, because that's all we know how to do. Good night, y'all. Enjoy the game. Thank you.